So here's the thing. I knew I wanted to draw a feline type creature, but everything else about the design has been improvised. Types of skin, color, abilities. I've been improvising a lot of my designs as of late, and I find I draw more naturally that way. I guess it prevents me from being distracted by animal references and other reference photos. Sometimes I feel freer just drawing from my own mind. References are important, don't get me wrong, it's just nice not having to follow the rules sometimes. I find myself drawing more unique shapes in the anatomy that way. And one more thing before I'm moving on to a brief description of the creature, I would like to thank everyone who sent me such kind and encouraging words about my first upload. It just makes me want to continue what I do even more. Now, finally about the creature you are currently watching me draw. It's called the Iyalulu Taco, but for the sake of my lack in speaking skills, we'll be calling them tacos. Tacos are semi-aquatic creatures, spending most of their time lounging about cold climate beaches and rocky shorelines, doing the things one might think a giant feline creature would do, sleep. And then, when they get hungry, they'll head out into the oceanic water to hunt. Their diet mainly consists of piscine creatures. They will use those long, whisker-like tentacles to send out a powerful pulse that shocks any nearby fish. Tacos are not fast swimmers, but they will use their strong tail for forceful spurts, allowing for quick forward propulsions. I should mention, tacos are solitary creatures. They, the only exceptions are mating season and mothers caring for their young. Once a year, around the chilly autumn months, female tacos will travel inland to lakes, ponds, and rivers to spawn or lay about 25 eggs. The males will soon arrive after a couple days later to fertilize them. Roughly 40 days later, when the eggs hatch, the babies will make their way back to their mothers who have now returned to the oceanic beaches. The babies will follow a scent the mothers have left behind. By the time they make it back to their mother, they will be about three weeks old, old enough to begin leaving the water by themselves and breathe oxygen. Typically, only two baby tacos will survive the journey. Back to the design of the taco, I imagine part of the body being exoskeleton, mainly the areas that consist of heavily plated armor. Little rodent-type creatures are found living among the tacos. Because the taco has a chitinous exoskeleton, it molts often, providing the little free-loading rodents a source of food. But the tacos don't mind, they actually appreciate the free grooming. And I think that's all I have for you uh, for the Iyalulu taco creature design. I'm pretty happy with the design. I love drawing feline type creatures. Um, I don't do them very often and I don't know why because they are, however, my favorite. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy the speed paint and keep an eye out for that little rodent design I uh, kind of gave a little hint at uh, at the end. Um, I'll eventually draw it and post it somewhere. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.